this is the back entrance where the driveway is. Comes into the garage here. So, into the lunch room. There's a deck off to the side here. Please ignore our mess. It's called me. Walk in this back entrance. Bath here, kitchen, all the way to the left, leads to a complete bath, two spare bedrooms, and here's the complete bath, and a bedroom full of boxes. As you can see, another bedroom. It's going to take a while to fill them up. Closets down the hall. <coughs> Coffee, anyone? The great room. And Please excuse Donna, she doesn't want to be seen. Back doors to the deck. And fireplace. And cathedral ceiling. That's the room to the hot tub room. Not hot tub yet, maybe one day. Into this entryway here, and this is the front entrance. And turn left to the office area, computers. These shelves are going to be, we got all kinds of boxes as you can see. These shelves are going to be storage for Armageddon. Or when the shit hits the family, whatever however you want to call it. And we got the kitchen. Look back this way to the master bedroom, straight ahead. Swing back around to the kitchen. And the, the eating area. A great view out there. Storage. When the shit hits the fan food, it's gonna go on these shelves in here. And I think you'll see why she is GF laying in my chair as usual. And let's see if we can get the view out this window here in this kitchen eating area. Oops. <laughs> Might be able to get the view through these windows. Yeah, maybe not. The blinds are kind of blocking the view with the camera. Maybe if I get a little closer, you can see out the kitchen window. Anyhow, this is the kitchen in the dining area. Back to the office. <laughs> Master bedroom. Uh, great windows with a view too, if they were open. Swing around to the master bath area through that straight ahead doorway to the hot tub room. And we got a shower, a jacuzzi tub, double sinks, and more great view out the bathroom. And closets, as you can see, they're a mess. Just like anything else, hot tub room. Right now being used for storage. Hopefully by the area and there's a view of the deck. 
on the back. Another year and hopefully a hot tub will be in here. Frosted windows. And back into the great room. We'll go outside. And our friendly gnome. <coughs> Stepping out back onto the deck. There's a view. This is where I took the sunset or sunrise video this morning. That little building right there is a storage building, but in the bottom of it is a as a hatch and steps that go down 12 feet to a bomb shelter or a tornado shelter, whichever you prefer to call it. Garage and entryway in the back. So let's step out here. And that's a uh, small barn down there. Garage, the house, back side of the house. More great scenery. The house is on 45 acres, which is sits in the middle of about 700 acres, owned by the gentleman that owns his house. One day I hope to buy it. I'm gonna walk around to the side of the house. This is the view that I posted earlier on Facebook. Whew, it's a bit nippy out here on this side. A bit of a breeze coming up the valley, up from the valley, across this hilltop. There's the view. Swinging around towards the front of the house, it faces that. We'll get down here in the sunshine <laughs> so I can stay warm. <sighs> and we'll turn around and face the house. There's the front porch. There's the gate and the driveway to the property. That driveway is about a quarter of a mile long and about half of it's tarred gravel and the other half is pavement. There's the barn, pastures, there's even more land over there on the back side of the barn. And this is what you see when you pull up. So I hope you don't mind looking at this video. Just wanted to show people that, that care about us, where we're living. I'm gonna call it quits because I'm about to freeze. It's a little breezy up here this morning.